everyone from Moore's Country Store, located in between Lynchburg and Crawford. We're coming today to take you in and let you try out one of these hot dogs with us. They are world famous and you're going to see why. That's 95 years they've been in business. Uh, shortly after they started, the depression hit, and they were able to keep the business going. Uh, they actually, Mr. Moore actually got several other jobs who could keep his store running. But that's how long the store's been here, and that's a long history um, of, of the store. Uh, interesting enough, the store was moved back 10 feet because it used to be on Route 10, and then when they built 460, they had to actually move the store back 10 feet. And then back in 1978, the store caught on fire, and they had to end up rebuilding the store. 
Oh, Carly, look, the food's coming. Let's check out the food real quick. We'll finish the history lesson later. Let's see what we got here. They don't tell anybody their recipe, but it is good. Let me take a bite and see how it is. Mm. It doesn't get better than this, people. If you have never tried Morris chili, make sure you come here and try it. It's hot. We don't know the ingredients in it. They don't let you know but it is good. You've got to come and try it. I love it. People come from all over to get this spicy chili. Oh yeah. People who travel, if they're traveling in this area, they make sure they stop by here to get this chili. Now they have all kinds of other food here, like David's fresh hamburger, the fries, Carly's grilled cheese. You saw the menu, but this is what they're known for, this hot chili. And something else that is a specialty here is called a Melissa burger. A lot of people get that. Hamburger is really good. They use real beef. Well, I got the hot dog with everything. When you order the hot dog with everything, it comes with mustard, onions, slaw, and chili. I got the light chili because it's so spicy. I can't handle that extra chili like Cindy can. Well, you know, they do have a um, milder version you can order. But it's not that it's not hot, it's just not as hot as the original. Yeah, let's see, let's see what you think of that bite. It tastes good with everything on it, but I can taste the heat in it. That's what makes it good. Well, we were talking a little bit about the history, and I do want to say all of this information I got off of their website. It's a really interesting article, so make sure you read it. You can see a lot more detail. Um, I think you were talking about when the store caught on fire. Yeah, that happened back in 1978. And I can remember, I was a, a small kid when the store caught on fire, and I can remember being closed for a while like, while they had to rebuild it. And the article said, that Mr. Moore and then the current owner, who was his child, I think it was 13 according to the article, that they actually rebuilt the store by hand. And the store has been owned by three different generations. Now they have six locations throughout the Lynchburg area. This is the original here, and this is the one we love coming to the best. Yeah, this is, this is the one where the tree it's known for the tree that goes to the roof as you come to the porch area in the entrance of the store. And also, this is where they actually make the chili. And I did read online that they make over 300, sell over 300 pounds of chili a uh, week. And I bet it's more than that now because that article um, was a few years ago. But I thought that was pretty interesting. And they actually started selling hot dogs here in 1959. So that, I'm so glad they decided to sell hot dogs. And I didn't realize it until this evening when the lady told us, but all the chili, like Sydney said, is made right here, and they ship it out to all the other stores in the Lynchburg area. Do you know where they got the recipe from? I know it's a, it's a secret recipe, but I don't know where it came from. And nobody's telling this recipe. Nobody's telling what the heat is, and it's, it's just, I can't even describe it. It's so good. It's hot. I like hot stuff, but sometimes hot stuff might be hot and not be tasty. This is tasty and hot. It definitely has a little heat to it. Well, the story that I read online was one of the workers here bought the recipe in. It was a recipe for her grand that her grandmother had, and then I think they tweaked it a little bit, 
and they came up with what they have today. But now the most interesting thing that I read about the chili is that it's actually made with turkey, not beef. I thought I have thought it was beef all these years. I did too. It used to be beef, but now they use turkey for it. Okay, Carly. Hopefully everything they have here is mostly homemade. You think so? Mm-hmm. They, they probably made all the recipes themselves. And, and I'm glad you mentioned homemade, Carly, because all of the moors are a little bit different that you go into. And some of them that you go into, you'll see where they have, where they have this homemade food, where they make that day, and they have different types of food for that day. Um, so, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different items uh, on the menu. And I believe all but one of the stores sells the hot dogs. And I know, you know, Moore's Country Store, you're thinking of a store, but it's more of a restaurant than it is a store. And people drive from miles and miles around to get these hot dogs, and um, they're just amazing. If you have not had one of these world-famous hot dogs, you need to come and try it. They are outstanding, out of this world. That's why they call them world's famous. That's why they call them world famous. Well, here is the ticket for our meal tonight. Cindy got the two hot dogs. The total for that was $3.98. I had one hot dog, $1.99. The hamburger was $3.99. Had an order of french fries at $1.89. Carly got the grilled cheese, $1.99. And then I had a two liter Coke, that was $1.69. The total came to $16.90. Hey David, I'm gonna show you something here. This is the Moore's Famous Chili. It's a mix where you can cook it at home. You know how we usually just buy the chili when we have a cookout or something and we want Moore's Chili at home? Well, for people who don't live around here, you can come and you can get this mix and then you just cook it. You cook your meat, the directions are on here. You put your season and tell you exactly how to do it. So this is a good option for people who want some Moore's chili and don't live in the area. You can also get yourself a Moore's Country Store t-shirt. And here's the prices. Now Sydney is holding the Moore's World Famous Country Store long sleeve t-shirt. It's been a family tradition since 1926. And this is the logo that I'm used to seeing on a lot of stuff. And they even list the locations. And here's all the locations that you can go to. All right, David, what'd you think of your food? Well, my food was real good. The hamburger, I really like that. But they always have a good hamburger. They use real beef. The hot dog, my lips are still tingling from the heat from the chili, but that's nothing unusual. It makes your lips and your tongue tingle. Love it. I'm not as tough as you are, because <laughs> you get double chili, where I can't hardly get just a little bit. How was your hot dogs tonight? Hey, well, you know I enjoy my hot dogs. I love Moore's hot dogs. And it's, I mean, it's any time I'll say to you, hey, stop by and bring me a hot dog home. He's coming from Lynchburg, because just love them. And um, I enjoyed it. One thing is they're usually pretty consistent. If I get a hot dog, it's gonna taste like a Moore's hot dog. Sometimes you go to places and it might be hit and miss, and one time it might be good, but they're very consistent with their recipe, and their chili is always delicious. So I did enjoy it, and the service is always good. And the lady checked yeah. us out tonight, super friendly, so very friendly, nice. So friendly, and, and everybody here is always friendly and helpful, and even like when they bought us the food, they always ask us, is there anything else you need? You order at the register like you saw us doing, and then they bought the food to the table, and they want to make sure that you don't need anything else. And um, just good customer service. How was your grilled cheese tonight, Carly? Good. It really looked Very nice. delicious. It looked very, very good. You finished it all, and that's a good sign because you had ice cream just a little while ago. So it had to be good. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed this video from Moore's Country Store. And, um, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest and greatest videos. See you next time. Thank y'all for watching and God bless. Bye.